Hey guys, Lannon is back with another video. So today, we're gonna be pimping my S18. We're gonna be attempting to vinyl wrap this bad boy into this pretty blue color. I've never vinyl wrapped anything before, so it should be interesting. Stick around. So the vinyl wrap I bought is 3M Series 1080. Um, it's pretty expensive, it's $10 a square foot, but it's, it's tough. So I think it'll last a little bit longer than if you were to color it with a spray bomb. So the tools we're gonna need are just standard tools to remove the panels. Then we're gonna need some sort of an ammonia-based cleaner uh, for the initial cleaning of the panels. And then we're gonna finish it off with the alcohol-based cleaner to remove the grease and dirt before applying the vinyl wrap. And then for the vinyl wrap, we're gonna need a heat gun. So the first thing we need to do is remove the panels. And I'm just gonna consult the King Song disassembly video for that and go from there. So we're gonna start by removing this panel here. It's going to be a Phillips hidden back in here and a Phillips hidden back in here. Then it should pop off, so we'll start with that. All right, got the two side panels off. Uh, went ahead and did the other side. So yeah, it's the two Phillips and then you kinda gotta pry it and pull it out. If you're confused, just watch the official King Song disassembly video. Okay, so now we gotta remove this back one. Apparently you don't need tools for it. You just gotta push down and pull it out. So we'll try that. Okay, I managed to get the back panel off without breaking it. So you have to be really careful because there's little tabs here, little circular tabs, and they will break if you pry on it too hard. So have some finesse. Okay, so the last panel we have to get off is this top guy. And I looked at the disassembly video and it looked really complicated. They basically had everything off first. I'm gonna see if we can just sneak in with a Phillips and take it off from here. So you probably need a small Phillips to get in there, but I think it's possible. Well, with a little gentle coaxing, I was able to get it off. So got all the panels off. Gonna remove these decals. Gonna clean everything. Um, there's a couple of little burrs here I might sand down just so it's really smooth. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, the moment of truth. I've rubbed a panel with alcohol. I'm gonna lay some vinyl wrap out. You wanna cut it big enough that you can pull around all corners. So don't cut it like just to size, you wanna cut it with a couple inches all around. So I'm gonna attempt this. Uh, use a sharp knife, use sharp scissors, use sharp tools. It will help you. Look at that. With a little careful finessing with my thumb, I was able to get it to stick on. Haven't heated anything yet, so I think I'm gonna try heating it and see what happens. I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks pretty damn good. Now, you wanna be careful with the heat. Um, you can ruin it if you heat it too much. But it's actually pretty forgiving stuff. Now there's like a couple of little imperfections there. I don't know if you can see them in the light. That was from when I crashed. And that's just like some unevenness in the plastic. So if you don't want those, you want to sand that plastic down nice and smooth. But yeah, look at that. I think that looks pretty good. Huh? Happy. On to the next ones. Okay, did the back piece, super nice, nice and clean. Um, yeah, you just wanna be careful again when you're stretching it. 
and uh, make relief cuts on the corners, push it in. Just really take your time with it. It's pretty flexible stuff, but uh, it's not something you want to rush. But anyways, with that being said, I'm not going to do the top piece. I actually don't think it needs it now that I'm looking at it. Um, so I'm going to put it back together and I'll show you the final product. Ta-da! So, here it is, all put back together. The screws are kind of a pain in the ass to put back in. I would suggest you have like a butter knife or pliers so you can pry the stuff down and get the screwdriver in. That makes it easier. But yeah, it, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. It's uh, pretty forgiving stuff. It looks really nice and smooth. There's a couple little bumps here, and that's because I didn't sand down this panel. So if you're gonna do it, Sand it down, make sure there's like no imperfections in the panel before you put on the vinyl wrap. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a sweet thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next one.